Everyone say hello to MLE's sixth ranked eater and soon to be father, Nick Weary. So uh, last time we talked here, dude, you and your girlfriend, top ranked female eater, Mickey Sudo, announced that you guys were expecting a kid. How has everything been going? Doing great. You know, we are 26 weeks as of today, actually. So uh, her and the little boy are doing well. Um, you know, she just had a recent doctor's appointment. Everybody's doing good. So, um, you know, that's if, if that's good, I can deal with the rest. You know, everything else is going pretty good. So, uh, What food has she been craving throughout this pregnancy? Um, there's a hot sauce called Santaba. It's a habanero-based <laughs> hot sauce. I literally bought her two cases of this <laughs> hot sauce. We found on clearance, which was really cool, too. That's probably why I bought the two cases. But uh, really spicy foods. Um, and then just depth of flavor. She can't just make a lunch. It has to be like a 76-step process into making depth of flavor with stuff. So <laughs> her, her taste buds are enhanced. So um, just a lot, of, a lot more flavor stuff. Will she be there supporting you during this event? She will. She will. I think it's nice. It's, it's half support, and then it's half, um, if you don't do well, I won't even sit next to you on the plane ride home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you got, like, that dad strength now. So, like, I, I'm, I'm confident in you here because you're, you're going to be competing in, like, one of the undercards at the DraftKings Red Carpet Film Feast, right? So this is, like, the hard-boiled egg contest, three-person yeah. event in which all contestants will be served 50 hard-boiled eggs in a standardized bowl. So the first to finish – or whomever consumes the most in six minutes will be declared the winner. So what is going to be your strategy here for this one? Uh, eat eggs really fast. No, um, it's <laughs> going to be, there's gauging them. I feel like uh, subconsciously I've been training for a hard boy leg event for the last like 14 years of my adult life, you know, but um, eat my fair share. But if you can get a, a rhythm with that, because um, as crazy as it sounds, it's only probably about six pounds of food total. So not too, too bad. If you can get a rhythm with the eggs, um, Try not to maybe get your mouth too dry with the yolk. You should be able to get them down pretty quick. Yeah. How uh, often do you eat eggs? It sounds like quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. Usually each morning either starts with protein paste or it starts with uh, 12 egg whites and two whole eggs. So it's probably the equivalent of about six dozen eggs a week in the house. We go through just for myself and then she eats a few here and there. So. Oh my God, man. So that's probably got to give you a little more confidence coming in or does that like not really matter? Um, there's a little bit of confidence, you know, I, I know my way around an egg, so to speak, you know, eating, being a bodybuilder, you know, if this was 10 years ago in my active bodybuilding life, there's no way because I loathed eggs during that time being forced yeah. to eat. But now I'm, uh, I'm pretty psyched. I'm, I'm trying not to get overconfident, but I'm pretty excited. All right. This will be your third DraftKings and MLE event, right? So you came in fourth at the Halloween Candy Bowl, third at the big game Snackdown. So how badly do you want to win one of these? Oh God. Yeah. Winning, you know, winning isn't everything. It's, it's the only, so for me, it's every contest I go into, it's with the intent to win. Um, so this one definitely, uh, I wanted a little bit more because it is hard boiled eggs. I'd love to be your, your hard boiled egg eating champion. Um, done pretty well, even at the, um, the, the big game events, I almost snuck into second with chestnut there towards the end. So that was pretty cool. So if I can go into this one and uh, try to dominate start to finish, that, that would mean a lot to try to come out of the top and get my first, uh, my first pro W that's not a qualifier. So. so what changes with you just going up against two other people instead of like a stage filled with other men and women? Uh, for me, to be honest with you, not too much. I, I know okay. some people, they, they pay attention to what other people are doing. Um, if you watch me, you know, tune in next Sunday, you'll probably see my eyes closed for the majority of the event. Really? Um, yeah. If I have my eyes open and I'm looking around, I'm really not doing my job. You know, there's, um, it, there's the movie for the love of the game with Kevin Costner. And before every pitch, there's the clear the mechanism and 70,000 people in the stadium go away. Uh, that should kind of be how it is. I, I want to kind of hear George or whoever's doing the countdown at the time, maybe where the time is, where some other people are, but um, you really can't give too much. To be honest with you. Yeah. If I go in there and I do my job, that title's mine. So. Is that like your all-time favorite movie for Love of the Game? Um, it's it's definitely up there. You know, Love of the Game is definitely up there. Um, that one, uh, Castaway, is probably the only movie where I've ever shed a tear when Wilson floats away. Um, it's probably oh, my God. That gets you? Dude, that's <laughs> Wilson floating away? In the history. I can, 
Oh, the Green Mile is close, but Wilson yeah. floating might be more sad. But um, that one's pretty <laughs> tough. Or uh, Jurassic Park, just the OG Jurassic Park. My, uh, yeah, my I have a three-year-old son. He absolutely loves Jurassic Park, which you know they might. I probably shouldn't be showing a three-year-old Jurassic Park, but he seems cool with it. So. Nah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm sure you're not like a regular dad. You're a cool dad. Exactly. Um, <laughs> don't worry, man. My mom let me watch like Beetlejuice when I was like three or four, which probably explains a lot. You know, uh, I mean, this is Oscar night, which is why we're kind of talking movies. It's why we came up with the name The Red Carpet Film Feast. So when when you go to the movies, so like what is your snack of choice? Do you have like a strategy? Um. I would love to say that I've never snuck snacks into the movie theater, but uh, you try to do that if you can. Like I'll ask Miki to bring her big purse, and by big purse I mean like what, what's a duffel bag to be considered a purse? You know, um, so try to sneak in maybe whatever the food of choice is. But as far as movie theater snacks, I want snow caps that are going to be gone before the movie even starts. Wow. Um, white things, and then um, I want popcorn. I'm going to tell the kid behind the counter, look, Seth, or whatever your name is, you layer that butter, kid. Don't be giving mm. me that little strip of butter down the middle. I need layered right. butter. You know, so like le legit buttered popcorn and snow caps. And then I'll probably go through about six giant Diet Cokes and miss a bunch of plot points because I'm up to you. So. <laughs> All right. So this isn't like you walking in with a fanny pack filled with like hard boiled eggs. I mean, you never know. <laughs> if I have to practice, if something might be a good time to practice, no one's going to be staring at me in the movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, man. Nick Weary. Happy eating, man. And uh, we're going to talk to you soon. Good luck. Awesome, man. Thank you so much for having me on, guys. Appreciate it.